Okay, so let's go. Engage and drive and... This is what happens if you push that little button here. That's the traction control. As I said, V8, 435 horsepower, 700 newton meters of torque at 1800 RPM. You will spin the wheels every time you accelerate fast if you don't need the traction control. You don't need the SL63 or 65 to have fun with this car. This is a beautiful car, drives amazing, very, very good performance, uh, very comfortable even for longer distance. Now let's try the speed bump. I hate those things. It's okay. You, I have it now in comfort. In sport, it's a bit stiffer. Um, there is an optional uh, button that would be here then that actually can lift the car if you uh, drive on an uneven road or something like this. Just check with Mercedes-Benz when you have it. By the way, Mercedes-Benz, thank you very much, Gargash, uh, which is the official Mercedes distributor here in Dubai for providing this car. And there will be many more reviews coming in the future. So uh, that would be an optional thing that uh, I would recommend to you guys, especially here in Dubai with all the speed bumps. Okay, so let's just turn around and then I'll tell you more about the car. Okay, it drives really, really well. Listen. Perfect. It sounds amazing. It has this very deep V8 uh, bollern. I don't know how you can say it in English. Uh, it's really, really nice. Fuel consumption was, as per Mercedes, is around 10.8 combined. However, here in Dubai, because we have 47 degrees, it's hot as hell, humid as hell. Um, we have a lot of highways, uh, which should actually help the fuel consumption, but uh, usually you have a lot of people that come in front of you, so you have to slow down, accelerate, slow down, accelerate. So I have now 16.4. To be honest, it was around 15.8 before we were standing, because uh, filming, I left the car running. So realistically, you'll be driving something around 14 to 15 liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, I checked it on the highway, very constant speed, so I was able to drive with around 10.5, 10.8, so pretty much what Mercedes says. However, city environment, a lot of acceleration, a lot of braking. Um, in this heat, you will not be able to drive with less fuel. Now, it drives very, very nice. It's very direct. What I like is you can put the, um, what do you call this, the uh, suspension in either comfort or sport. That doesn't change, however, the gear shifts or um, anything with the, uh, yeah, the gear shifts, sorry. Um, to make the gear shifts, actually, you can, as I said, manual, sport, or echo. So if you put it in manual, now you have it in sport, if you put it in manual, it gives you an indicator to shift up, which is nice, so it reminds you to save some fuel. Now it shows the fourth gear, which is really good, and it will not shift up for you, so you have to shift yourself. However, it will shift down, obviously, if you slow down. So let's put it just back to echo. Um, it dri drives very, very comfortable. Uh, again, another speed bump. I really hate those. We have to be a bit careful with the really, really big bumps here in Dubai. Uh, I encountered a few uh, where you rather go sideways a bit. Uh, not sideways, uh, drifting, but uh, in an angle. Uh, I love the look of the car. I love the interior of the car, especially carbon fiber, which is the optional IMG package. Now, this car costs, and this is the one big advantage, I would say, uh, if you're not super rich and you have a car collection, uh, it costs base price around 449,000 dirhams, that's 90,000 euro here in Dubai. Um, this particular one here with a few gimmicks like the Magic Sky Control, I hope I said it correct, a very difficult name. Uh, now look at the roof, it's kind of bluish. If I press that button, it becomes transparent. Very nice feature. Let's make it bluish again, or dark, darken it up, because uh, it's very, very hot. It still lets light through, however, it's not as hot as if you would have it transparent. So that's a nice thing. Uh, the right quality is superb, uh, really. The only things uh, that uh, I would say I don't like, that is this analog clock here. Uh, I like the fact that there is one, however, uh, not the design of it. It looks misplaced, it doesn't look like it belongs into this car. The minute and uh, hour hand look way too chubby, too fat to fit to the sporty character of the car here. Now, let's just turn around. Um, another thing that I don't, not, not like, but that I would uh, like to have improved would be the screen a bit bigger and make it a touch screen because I found myself that I was touching it a lot. Um, 
other than that, it drives really amazing. The main feature I really love are the seats in this car because they have so many optional um, functions. Obviously, everything is electric. You're controlled over the uh, on the door here, and they actually uh, pump to left and right in this area to grip you into the corner. So if I go a left corner, this one pumps up and holds me really, really tight, which is really, really great. Uh, it has a massage function in four different settings, which you go here. Uh, you can change the lumbar support. Uh, you can have uh, uh, this support here either really, really uh, big, like a 10, setting 10, or zero, just nothing. So that's really amazing. I like the carbon fiber trim in the AMG uh, package, uh, optional package here. Um, the leather is beautiful. I would like to have this one in leather and this in leather, which I assume will be in the uh, SL63 and 65, or as an option in, in any of the SLs. Um, other than that, it really drives amazing. I mean, the cornering is great, the performance, the pickup, the sound, it's all beautiful. Beautiful. Um, now, coming back to the price 449 for the base. This one, as you can see it here, it's 549,000. 560, 550, something like that. I'll put it in the description. Um, that's a lot of money. I mean, okay, we had a race in property prices in Dubai, but two years back, you could buy a small one bedroom apartment in Dubai Marina for that price. Well, I mean, it really depends. Uh, let's say like this I cannot afford this car at the moment, hopefully, in the future, because I love it. Um, someone who can afford this car will not look for a one-bedroom apartment in Dubai Marine. They most probably gonna have a villa already somewhere, or multiple properties, and that will be uh, one of the cars they will have. So from that point of view, it's a different clientele. It's a different, different, uh, yeah, buyer clientele. See, traction control is on and still drifts just a little bit before the traction hits and uh, reduces the, uh, the torque to uh, find the grip again. Uh, one thing, actually, brakes were a bit squeaky, I guess, because the car is very, very new, so it's just still braking in, and uh, that will go away uh, after some time. So, I think that's pretty much it, I would say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it, like it, comment below, subscribe please, and if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Um, thank you very much Gargash, Mercedes-Benz uh, Dubai for providing this car, and uh, if the schedule is right, we should have uh, next week the um, Mercedes-Benz CLS uh, shooting brake, which is something really, really nice looking, and very rare in Dubai, so if you want something that is very unique and not many people have. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe and uh, uh, check in again in a week's time to see the new video. Thank you very much and see you next time. Bye!